Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorch Crafter. My name's Julie and today I have got Floss Tube. So I want to share with you my stitching progress. I've got a few starts, um, what I've seen on Facebook and Instagram and then also I would like to give out uh, some shout outs and who I have been watching, new YouTubers, floss tubers that I have been watching and discovered recently. So, first of all, I am going to share with you some, well, my stitching progress. So, I will tell you if it's a whip or if it's a new start. So, first one is a new start and this is for caterpillar cross stitch so this is let me turn my camera that might help there we go right so yes caterpillar cross stitch so this is their new um stitch along so i have got a robin there the start of a robin and then the next one is going to be a stocking so i will just get the details for that and the proper name so let me so yes caterpillar cross stitch and this is stitch into christmas so this is what we have so far so drop one was the robin the stocking the christmas pudding the santa and the barbell so that was drop one and then this drop two excuse me is the candy cane the presents the snowman the mistletoe and the gingerbread man so but yeah this is how far i have got with it i've got the other shade of tan of brown to put underneath the robin and then the stocking i have chosen to do in a variegated so i think that's what i'm going to do for all the borders i'm going to do a variegated so i need to pull this out because I didn't do full crosses um, I went round half and then I was going to go back over but as many of you know that is not how variegated floss works but with the border round here on this one I did do it properly so yeah we've got the red and then it's coming down into a um, peach and then a very very light pink at the bottom here but yeah this is a stitch into christmas for caterpillar cross stitch and like i said that was a new start for this week um so that was that one then next is daisy chain and this is by caroling manning designs and we are doing this one a group of us in celebration of a couple of birthdays so we've got danielle and we have diane so yeah some of the uh, zoom ladies uh with uh Shaleen and danielle and crystal diane so yeah we are doing daisy chain in celebration of danielle and diane's birthdays so i managed to get a little bit of this done this morning i did some of this green in here which is going to be the petals which go round the bottom here on this flower so this one here there's a couple of different uh, greens. I think there's three 
three different shades of green for those flowers down there. Um, I also need to finish off the white for the middle flower and then I think I've got some of these uh, this white here and then these bands that I need to finish across and then I can move on to the next uh, daisy which might be this one up here it might be the replica or I might move along this way and do like this yellow one that looks a bit like a sunflower but yeah that is my progress on daisy chain so that was a whip that one so then next is the stitch on a may stitch along this is the cabinet of curiosities I had to go back and look at this bottom row here where I had started I marked the middle and yeah it was uh, it should have been the rectangle here so I had to pull out this row of stitches I had to frog it but then uh, I have been doing some of the squares so we've got eye of newt then we have the um, magic ball and then the next one that I'm just starting there is the mandrake so those are some of the leaves in the top but yeah we have got about 12 or 13 of the squares now um, it started on the 17th and yeah we've uh, had a drop every day since then um, I actually forgot to check the details of how often the drops would be and there's been one every day so that was a whip so this next one is Autumn Favourites by Shannon Christine Designs and I started this one the other day and this I started at the bottom so this is going to be the word cider I just need to finish off the R there and I will get a picture of what that is going to look like Autumn Favourites by Shannon Christine Designs so like I said I started at the bottom here I've got the uh, the word cider so I've just got the R to finish and then yeah like I said I started at the bottom so I'm going to work my way up but that is a gorgeous design by Shannon Christine Designs really enjoying stitching this one I really do like Shannon Christine's work I like her designs so I'm enjoying stitching that one so that's that one then next I have Midnight Magic let me just double check and this is by Emma Congdon and that's what the finished design will look like when it wants to focus so I have just come over to this side here and I'm just doing the ghost and then I'm going to do some of the mushrooms underneath so this one is a whip so yeah I've uh, 
managed to do the cream for the ghost and I'm just going in now with the darker grey because it's going to be a mirror image of this ghost over this side and then I will come and do like the mushrooms, the trees here and then I will come down and finish this lettering down here and then we'll come over and do the swirlies here because it's a like I said a mirror a mirror image so but yeah another one I am really enjoying stitching This is Cup of Chia by Shannon Christine Designs. So I've only made a little bit of a start on this one and that is going to be the cup in the middle, the stripy cup with I believe a gingerbread man. So yeah, that is what the design. Have a cup of cheer by Shannon Christine Designs. And I have started in the middle there. So I've done the brown at the top. I've come round and done some of the handle. And then I'm doing this first red strip just above the gingerbread man. So there's some of the handle there. You can kind of see it. And then yeah, we've got the red band that's coming in here. So yeah, again another one I am loving, Shannon Christine. So that is that one. Then next, next we have the designs that I would like to start and I'm hoping to maybe start over the weekend. So this first one is a Darin Jones and this is Haunting Night. So it says ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, scary witches at your door jack-o'-lanterns shining bright wishing you a haunting night and yeah I have got I have actually dyed the piece of fabric so I tea dyed coffee dyed um, so yeah I did it with some tea bags but then I also put um, some coffee in the mix as well and it's come out brilliantly so we've got some lighter bits some darker patches I just kind of rolled it up and scrunched it up and pushed it into a coffee jar a spare coffee jar that we had and this is all frayed I need to cut it so yeah looking in this corner here it really is quite dark but then we move on to some light lighter bits but um, yeah I'm probably thinking I will do this in the centre but depending yeah I'll have to see because then there'll be the darker bits on the outside and I might want some of the darker bits in the design um, I don't know I'll have to see when I come to it but um, when I was in the process of kitting this one up 
I was looking at my variegated threads that I had and I have decided to do some of the border in this DMC pearl cotton and this is the five so you just pull out one of the strands and you just yeah you stitch with that and I've been watching some videos and there was one lady that I was watching and she suggested putting this end of the loop onto a ring and then these bottom threads here you snip them you cut them where they loop around and then when you pull the thread from the top you get a nice length to work with but yeah you uh, just stitch with one of these strands you don't split them you don't divide the uh, pearl of thread and then I have some other some other variegated some multi colour that I'm thinking about doing the pumpkins and the moon here the uh, coloured bits maybe some of the uh, stars that are coming up the different colours um, but yeah I'm going to really enjoy um, playing with the design if that's what you want to say but um, yeah I absolutely love the design as it is but um, yeah like they say it's you know once you purchase the pattern you can uh, do it and stitch it different if you wish to but yeah I've uh, found some of the other colours I've got like the different oranges for the pumpkins I've got the purple I'll probably keep the witch the same I might do her leggings her tights well her socks and then the ribbon on her hat um, I might do in the uh, orangey variegated yeah it's got the pink and the yeah I might do that for the witch's hat and then do the orange multi orange in the rest But yeah I am really looking forward to stitching that and it's the first sort of pattern that I have changed the colours for so yeah I think it is um, so yeah that is definitely one that I want to start and then the next folder has got two in but there's only one of these that I'm going to start so this is the other Darin Jones one the Christmas sampler let me find the picture for that so this one the Darin Jones Christmas sampler so I definitely want to uh, start that one so I've got my uh, fabric my threads um, but yeah I definitely want to start this one the only problem is my printer ran out of ink so I've only got so much of the pattern printed um, so I need to get some more ink and then I can work out what's printed and what hasn't but yeah I've got the uh, fabric I've just gone for a uh, uh, like cream colour um, it does say on the pattern what the model was stitched on but yeah I've just gone for a, a cream a pale colour so then the colours 
the reds and the greens and the Christmas vibes will just pop off the fabric. So then next I have got ready the decorations, the variegated uh, decorations and again these are by Doreen Jones. So there's four different ones there um, but um, yeah I do have some squares of fabric that came in a set with some um, mini hoops um, but I need to check that they will fit on this fabric so do each one I think I've got three or four pieces of fabric I don't know how many is in this packet there might only be three two or three Yeah, just the three. Um, but yeah, I've picked up, picked out some variegated thread that I had in my stash. So let's have a look. So I found um, some skins of this. Christmas one and this is 4519 and it, it is a DMC so yeah 4519 so Christmas colours reds and greens uh, it's got browns in there so yeah reds greens and browns And then we have these other two and these are by a different company these are GT and it does say on the gold thread brand so gold thread brand so yeah, there's a nice red like reds pinks and then we've got this uh, green one it's different uh, greens and a really pale 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 green there so but yeah i won't be uh, starting those ones just yet but i definitely want to start the christmas sampler and the haunting what's it called haunting i always forget Haunting Night. Thanks. So yeah, Haunting Night. I definitely want to start those too. But these uh, Christmassy ones might wait until next year. But so let's put these away and then we'll come back up. Change camera. change camera and then we'll move things over so we've got some desk space everything doesn't fall so let's move that out of the way now so yes I definitely want to um, I'm glad I've started the ones that I have but I want to get a start on those other two as well and the reason for these new starts even though you don't need a reason you can start all the things <laughs> yeah you can start all the things um i want to join in whipgo next year um i have got you know plenty of designs to be bringing to whipgo but I have decided I want to make my board certain designers. Um, there's going to be Doreen Jones, there's going to be Emma Congdon, there's going to be Shannon Christine. But then there's going to be, well, they're the designers that I've got multiple 
patterns for. So Dublin Jones I've got quite a few, Shannon Christine I've got quite a few, uh, Emma Congdon, uh, Stitch Rovia, I have two of her books. I've got cross stitch for the soul and cross stitch for the heart. So I've got plenty of designs. I'm not going to start anything new for Emma Congdon yet. So I think I've just got the Midnight Magic for her at the moment. I don't think I've got anything else for her yet, unless I decide to skip just tip something else up on it. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I no. Mm -hmm. No. So, yeah, I'm going to have them three. Them three designers on my whip go board. But then I'm going to. Um rotate my other ones um so a bit like um some other people have done work on you know your whip go goals for a certain number of days um i think there's um i think danielle's done it i think shaleen's doing it at the moment for her whip go this year she worked they work on them for five days so the whip go goals, they work on them for five days. So one for five days, the other for five days, because it's two numbers per month that get called uh, on the whip go board. And then the rest of the month, the remaining two weeks, they will rotate their whips, their projects that aren't on the board. Um, so like I've got the Carolyn Manning, I've got um, another one I want to start there's a coffee sampler <laughs> that's the one I forgot let me find I think I took a cover picture um, the coffee sampler that one the happy mood point coffee sampler says at first I drink the coffee and it's um, like an oracle you can't really see that but um, I think I've got the fabric pulled for that and I have chosen to stitch that in variegated browns Yes, variegated browns. Let me just have a look in my bag. I'm sure I not that one. This one. No. Yeah, this one. I found one old one. This is the one I forgot to show. I knew there was another one that I wanted to start. So yes, the coffee sampler. I haven't pulled my fabric for it yet. But these are the different uh, variegated, the different colours. So I've got two the same there. And then I've got one with like browns and creams and then this one is different shades of brown but yeah so I've uh, picked those for I still can't get it in the camera <laughs> but I really like this one on the end 
but um, yeah so I've uh, decided to do it in these uh, variegated and I will just pick the bits as I go but that is going to be another new start that I want to take with me next year so yeah, I need to um, find some fabric for that but yeah that is a, another one so that's three that I need to start but um, yeah so I've shown you guys the caterpillar cross stitch yes I showed you and the Friday freebay for Doreen Jones is an autumn themed biscornu so we've got like the mushrooms the autumn leaves and we have snails why does my phone want to go like that so yeah we've got uh, snails you can just see snails in the corner so yeah if you head over to Darin Jones cross stitch you will find the Friday freebay the Biscarno um, another pattern um, it's coffee or wine I won't show you but I will tell you the uh, give me coffee to change the things I can and wine to accept the things I can't and I know that's not going to be everybody's taste but that is another one that I have so I've got anything So, right, so yeah, that was there. What I've seen on Facebook or Instagram, nothing has popped up this week for Instagram. So, I want to share with you guys some YouTubers that I have been watching this week. So, this morning I was searching for easy and simple project bags without zippers um, yeah the last one that I tried to stitch with a zip and it, it didn't go very well um, I discovered you need a zipper foot for your sewing machine and mine doesn't have that so I was trying to look for tutorials of pouches or something like that you know without a zipper and one came up for a book sleeve so um, the lady in the video actually said you know you can make it any size you want it to be any yeah so it was a lovely lady um, over on YouTube my crazy life and i think she's called lynn i think but while i was watching her well when i'd finished watching her video for the um it's called a book sleeve so easy diy book sleeve 2020 so it was last year no the year before last so a couple of years back but um yeah book sleeve so yeah that's what i was looking at and yeah she made a couple on the video one for her and one for her niece um but then i was scrolling through her channel and discovered she is a floss tuber so i was watching a little bit of one of her videos um but um yeah i need to uh finish watching that but yeah she is a floss tube and she's been well at the time of the video i think it was her most recent video actually because it's dated 2022 so yeah she was doing a floss tube so go and check her out my crazy life so i was watching her 
I have also been watching and absolutely loving Natalie. So she's Natalie. Love it, live it, make it yours over on YouTube. And I was watching some of her recent videos and then I went back and watched right from floss tube number one and yeah she's she's so sweet she's lovely and she's um stitching some really lovely designs and one of the ones she's stitching at the minute is the design is inspired by the film up so it's a house with all these um balloons and there is 365 of these balloons so i think well, yeah, you stitch one every day, so 365. So you stitch, um, you do like the weather or whatever you want to stitch in each one, sort of relate it to something. And yeah, you stitch one every day, one of these balloons. But definitely go check out Natalie over at Love It, Live It, Make It Yours. Um... I was in Shalene's live stream uh, the other day, well I was watching, it was 10pm um, UK time is when she goes live, so 10 till 11 she does a live uh, floss tube stream and the one I watched was floss tube 74, whips and more whips, so yeah she was showing her um, stitching progress she is doing daisy chain and autumn favorites from shannon christine she is doing a long dog sampler um i think she's doing i think in previous floss tubes she's um shown some of the fairies are like the mirabilia type of things she's done um a mill hill kit as well a little beaded mill hill kit so definitely go check out shalene so it's shalene's creativity room um, i've also been watching tracy's craft house I have been watching Tracy for such a long time. Absolutely love her videos. She does um, whip and chat. She does floss tube. Um, she does unboxings. Um, you know, reviews for companies. Um, but Tracy at the minute, what's she working on? And she's working on a long dog sampler um she is doing a couple of heads um she is also doing some stamped kits some pre-stamped kits so definitely go check out uh, tracy's craft house um, Um, there is another, well I'd say more a crafter, a diamond painter. Um, I used to watch this lady a long time ago and then I don't, I don't know what happened. I either stopped getting notifications or something happened with YouTube and we follow each other on instagram and you know comment on each other's pictures and things like that but then i discovered i wasn't subscribed to her youtube channel anymore so it's margie franklin and yeah she does um diamond painting unboxings um i think recently she's been getting into resin and doing all kinds of crafting and creative things with resin so definitely go check out uh, Margie Franklin if you're into diamond painting and things like that. She's been doing also uh, crochet, amagurame, is that how you pronounce it? I can't, am, amagurume, 
the uh, little characters and she's been posting over on Instagram and she at the moment she is doing a Harry Potter um, she's doing more specifically Hermione Granger and it looks so cute it really does look so cute but yeah definitely check out her YouTube channel for diamond painting but if you are into uh, crochet and amigurami go and check her out over on Instagram so that's Margie Franklin um, then there is also the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis um, she at the moment she's been doing a lot of unboxings and whip and chats you know stitch with me's so yeah definitely go check out the coloring the stitching colorist Shelley Lewis yeah the stitching colorist Shelley Lewis um, I think a month or so back she was actually doing some coloring uh, some coloring chats so definitely go check out her channel Anybody else I can shout out? Oh yes, also there is another channel called Crazy Borgies. Um, she is primarily a diamond painter, but in the past month or so she has been getting into cross stitch. So she will do stitching charts and then she does um, product finishing videos. So if she's been sent anything or even if she's purchased things on like Amazon, she will do a finishing video. So lots of, lots of inspiration and you know what, what, um, products companies sell um, give you inspiration to go and have a look and you know maybe purchase yourself so go and check out crazy bogies so she's on YouTube and over on Instagram it's crazy bogies diamond art over on Instagram so go and give her a follow over on there as well No, I think that is it for shout outs. So yeah, <laughs> quite a few for you to go and uh, to go and check out. So I'm hoping I remember to put these channel links in of who I have shouted out and then their Instagram handles. Hopefully I'll be able to put those in as well. They might just be typed in, but yeah, you can always copy and paste over onto Instagram. Um, so is there anything else I need to tell you guys? So I've gone through whips, I've gone through new starts, I've gone through Facebook and Instagram, I've gone through shout outs. Um, oh, one last, mo one more shout out. Um, Diamond Painting with Orchid. Go and check out her channel, the lovely Heidi. So she does a bit of everything. She used to diamond paint. Um, I don't know if she's, no, I think. I don't think she diamond paints anymore but she does some beautiful stitching some amazing projects at the moment she's working on a beaded cross stitch of a winter scene a lovely winter yeah it, it 
it's huge this project this beaded project she's been working on she is also working on i think it's two from luca s there's like a fireplace christmas scene and there is another one what was the other one she was working on? I think that is another Christmas scene as well. Yeah, I think there's one with a fireplace and then I think there's another one with a Christmas tree and a fireplace. I think the other two kits have got fireplaces in. I don't know. I know there was another two and they're huge projects as well. The Luca S, I believe. Um she was also working on the vervico and lenada the christmas stitch along the gnomes that i started and really need to get back to so yeah she was also stitching that as well i think she said she's got one gnome left to stitch i think she's done sort of loads of the background and I think, yeah, she's just got one more of the gnome to stitch for her to finish that. But I've only done, I've nearly finished my first gnome. <laughs> so I've got a long way to go on that one yet. But that's another one I need to put on my um, whips, my uh, rotations for the other two weeks for my whip go board. But no, so definitely go check out Heidi's channel. So diamond painting with orchid i believe she's on instagram as well but i don't know if that's a private account i'll have to check that with her whether i can uh, put it in my description box but yeah i will check with her um but yeah i think that is everything i don't think i've got anything else to share um no i think that is everything i think i've exhausted all floss tube and everything to share so yes i am going to let you guys go so i hope you enjoy the rest of your friday i hope you have an amazing and safe weekend um at the moment we are having quite a lot of rain in the uk so yeah if you're in the uk stay dry um so yeah like i said that is everything for today so remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys